YouTube, it's Blake and it's Brooks. And today we're at Cool Kicks and we do have a pair of the top three Jordan 1s. And you're probably thinking, how did you get these? Where did you get these? First of all, shout out to Cool Kicks for letting us film in their location. It actually is the night before you are having the event. So huge shout out to them. But I actually just recently, before coming here, picked these up from round two. So in case you guys are wondering, I did get them from round two. So huge shout out to them and huge shout out again to Cool Kicks and we will have an event, but this will be up after, so I'm not gonna talk about that. But today we do have these. So on this shoe, we do have almost like a fragment upper with them with the red. I think they're, I think they're cool, but I think they should have done more. I think it's like with the fragment part, I think they should have put the fragment logo. I don't know, I think there's little details that they could have done more. Yeah, so the quality overall when we're holding it in hand, it's not bad. In my opinion, it's probably like a 7 out of 10, which isn't great. So some of the recent releases, such as the Red Ones, uh, the Shattered 2.0s, and the Black Toes, they've been better than this, and we compared them to these, and these aren't the best, but I mean, they're nice, and these are obviously going to get a lot better when you wear them. Yeah. Which side do you like more? Uh, I think I like this I one. Like that side more. Because it's more like the fragment, you know? So we're in Cool Kicks, as I said, we got Rami and some of the employees here, and we're gonna get some of their opinions on these, but just a few, I guess, other things. The black leather on the top right here and throughout the shoe, well, the, actually the black leather on here is really, really stiff. This is like the worst part of the shoe. And then this white leather, black leather on the sides is pretty nice. So, I mean, not a bad shoe. And then we do have the regular standard Jordan box. And like Brooks said, like, don't you think they could have had a better box or something? Well, okay, it's a Jordan one, so honestly, in my opinion, I think they should have, I like how they went with this box. But you think it's better just with the regular one? Yeah, I mean, maybe like, you know how they did the pinnacles in that luxurious, like, black box? That was sick. Like, something like that maybe would have been cool. I think they could have done more with these, and it's kind of disappointing to Just overall, they could have added more. Yeah, and it's a little disappointing to, like, look at a shoe like this and know it's probably gonna be, like, just like any other shoe. Like, they could have made this a crazy shoe and super limited and hard to get, but. They didn't. Hopefully the retail price, the release date isn't confirmed. Nike did just release photos, you'll probably see more on the screen. Hopefully these will be 185 like they usually are, just because they didn't come with anything extra. They came with three laces, which I guess is something, you know? But that's probably just because of the three colors they used. And basically nothing else is different. There is no retail tag on this. This is an overseas pair, and I just picked these up from round two. These are a size 12. So again, I got these early to review for you guys. Now, of course, I won't be wearing these just because they're not my size, but hopefully you guys can get these just because I hope they're not too limited just because there's nothing crazy about them, you know? Yeah, but like, I really like the, I do like the concept behind these and I think it's super cool how they kind of mismatched it. Like you see, you can- I think it's a pretty cool thing and a lot of people like- People like this, it just looks like a- Black toe. See, see what I mean? Like, and a lot of people were hating on these just because, like, this is such like a almost. If you guys could think about it, it's like a stupid idea. And a lot of people. This were, looks like a shoe that would never come out. That's what. It, that's what. It, it a looks lot like of some fake mocked up shoe. Yeah, a lot of people were saying that Jordan Brand's running out of ideas with these. You know what I mean? Like, I think they could have added more. So now we're gonna throw it over to some really awkward close-ups of some of the employees at Cool Kicks, and they're gonna give their thoughts on oh, that's this shoe. shoe. Yo. Hey, yo, Rob. What's up, guys? It's Rami on Instagram, R A M dot C O M M. And I'm currently interning at Cool Kicks LA, 7565 Merrill's Avenue. Uh, how you doing? My name is Mook. Mook dot cool on Instagram. Hey, my name is BK Abraham. My Instagram is Pretty Boy Kid. My name is Dion Shams. And they call me Champagne Pat. It's a nice shoe, but the quality can definitely be better. Like, it's dope colors with the top, like breads, fragments, Chicago's, Royals, but the quality is just, man, if it was shattered, it would have been super hype, fragment logo. And like Brooke said, the box could have been a lot better, but yeah. Oh, I love the top three. Uh, at first, um, pictures, I wasn't a big fan, but seeing them in hand, seeing them on someone's foot, uh, big fan of the material that they use. Um, very dope, cool, dope concept. I'm not a big fan of the material. It's really kind of a tumble leather kind of guy. Um, the back feels kind of super, super high for me, man. Not a really big fan of that. Um, other than the colorway is dope, um, I'm a big fan of one, so you can't really hate it too much, but still going with the frags a little bit. I think it's a, a good pair of J's. It's decent quality, it's not like a shot of backboards, but 
I love the colors on it. It's something I would wear on a casual basis. Yes, because I'm a hype beast, and ones are hype, so you know, I have to buy them. I mean, these may leave me right now, so I'm a big fan of them. Definitely, I'm a sneakerhead. Gotta do it for Junkie. Most likely, I probably will just add it in my collection, but I probably won't wear it as often as everyone else would. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like down below if you enjoyed it. Shout out to Round 2 again for hooking me up with this early pair. Shout out to Cool Kids for allowing me to film in the store on this late Friday night. What do we have here tomorrow? Cool Kids Give Tom. Giveaway Para. B2. You already know. So with all that being said, it's your boy B Sneak, and we out.